well, all, all the parts that uh, just come uh, for the overdrive um, complete kit for the A type and also there's uh, the gearbox, all the seals for the gearbox as well. I thought we may as well do those while it's out of the car. And uh, I showed you that the uh, the, the um, block for the gearbox uh, support at the back uh, had collapsed, and I've changed all the mountings for the engine as well. I may as well. There's no uh, all the all the bearings um, and operating rings, everything there, accumulator, and uh, even the speedo pinion uh, seal. Uh, uh, had to wait for these. Uh, they were weren't available, but I've got them now, and I treated myself to a new spanner for the for the drain down plug. Right, right. I've just. Uh, with a block of wood I put a, a V in it to hold that end up so that the whole thing is there and I've, uh, I've already degreased it with a chemical but I've done it with this heavy duty degreaser which I get from Screwfix in the UK uh, and I've covered it with, it, with that and given it a good rinse off before I strip, start stripping out. Um, you may notice that this oddity here that, that is the reverse spigot which snapped off on a tour in Italy and, and France uh, several years ago and that was my temporary uh, permanent uh, uh, fixing of it. Uh, it was easier to bolt, to drill through and put a bolt through and uh, that is the reverse which, which snapped off on a very steep hill when I was reversed. Gearbox all cleaned down, degreased uh, and I've Drain down the oil uh, from the bottom. Uh, just a, a little thing here. The um, the I bought this new one, and if you see at the top, when it's when it's touching at the back, it's not fully down at the, the front. And what that results in is it damages the the brass. And um, this brass bush is a bloody expensive piece of uh, equipment. Uh, this this. Is, this is the one that I made years ago and it, it, it works very well but I thought I'd treat myself to a bit, bit disappointed. One thing to see, you see the uh, magnetic, see the residue on there, that, that is all metal particles that the magnets, the, the three magnetic discs there, pick up. So um, worthwhile draining it down occasionally just to check that. That's it, all the oil's drained down. Uh, I've made a little bit of a V-block under there. Uh, I've already had a hole in there, I've just pinned that there to, to keep it, it rigid. And uh, now um, I'm just going to lift off the... the uh, I made sure it's, it's in neutral and lift out... Lift out the... that give me access now better access to these uh, I'm just going to do, do it, split it in half now take that off obviously these are long for the compressing the springs right with the the, the top and bottom uh, the short ones off I'm now using two spanners simultaneously letting these out and the springs that are in there will push that out Oh, that's the bolts out, and uh, now to uh, try and separate the uh, two parts. I've got it supported at the back here. Just pull back. Give it a joggle. And there she is, separated. Uh, just put that spring back, just to uh, before I uh, can see that everything here is all wired in for the that they put that one back in. These are all wired together uh, to stop them opening up. Uh, but it's ready now to. Uh, there you can see all the plates. These. Uh, should have a tab washer on each one of these. 
these tab washers sometimes snap off, um, but you uh, you can use a nylock to secure it. But uh, everything looks quite nice and clean in there. Um, down into the, the uh, bottom. Went, I'll take this end off later on, but initially this is just uh, what we've got. I'll uh, these all nice and dry which uh, but these are wet so that might have been where I was getting my oil leak from but I'll have to change this this one in here as well so that means undoing all of that uh, taking off that end plate and uh, now what I want to show you on this is that the you've got your your uh, eight springs I'm going to call these th this one here the, on the, the the inner ones there's four inner ones and they're one length. I'll put that on there. Put that on there. You'll see they're all the same length. The inner ones, but the, the four outer ones, which when you when you look at them, they stick out slightly further on. But when you put them down next to the others, they're different. They look a stronger one, and they're slightly longer. So keep them separate. Keep those. Uh, Keep those separate. You can see and that's them all out. So you've got the eight springs, keep them separate, and the longer ones are the outer ones, the slightly shorter and look slightly a weaker spring. I don't know, could just maybe it, but they're definitely shorter and I think the new ones I've got are coloured at the ends for to check. This member here you can see that it's uh, off centre that is the that is the pump which operates that, that is the cam sorry that operates this pump here when you put it back in again make sure that this is at the lowest point so that the it will ride it will ride over this uh, that's quite very important when you reassemble otherwise this will just hit against that it won't slide